Hi there, uh, I'm Wesley Hardesty. I'm from Fort Simpson, Northwest Territories, and uh, I'm Dene First Nation. Really grateful to be here at uh, Big Lake in collaboration with Ensemble Made in Canada. We are really happy to have worked together with Wesley Hardesty and Carmen Braden on a new commission work. As an idea, uh, we met uh, a few years ago when we were on tour in Yellowknife and we met these people, Carmen and Wesley, they were so fantastic and we really wanted to create another project to continue uh, and, and, and trying to have a conversation with the South and the North. The collaboration that we got going here is uh, music that I was commissioned to write uh, in thought of classical musicians and uh, very grateful for this, uh, this amazing group. Uh, we got violin, viola, cello, and piano, plus the five string fiddle, which I'm uh, very grateful to have. Very unique instrument. We really started off with like, hey, I'll listen to your music, you listen to some of our music, and, and really finding each other, and then it was sort of like, there was a seed of an idea, and then we spent a whole week together uh, to have dialogue. Carmen Braden was the one who brought us all together, uh, EMIC and myself, in uh, commissioning uh, I guess all of us as a group to share and uh, present music that represents uh, their style in classical and kind of my genre and cross pollination of many genres, um, ranging from Metis fiddle music to anywhere traditional um, sounding, you know, of uh, soundscapes uh, based out of the Northwest Territories, um, traditional drumming and West Coast, I guess, and it's just, uh, it's an incredible um, lineup of uh, influences on my part. And so coming together with uh, this group, EMIC, um, again, has uh, given us the opportunity to kind of learn about each other's terminology and in terms of uh, the musical language and you know describing certain things that uh, we get to do um, in in this music. This is a piece that has taken a lot of evolution. It started off with a lot of talking and meetings and goals and what we hope to get out of it, which was very broad stroked goals with not a very like detailed. We want a 15 minute piece. Da 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 da. Like a, just sort of a straight on commission. It was more like what do we hope emotionally in terms of like also. Um, in terms of messaging, in terms of personal um, hopes as to what we wanted to achieve by working together with two people, with people that we didn't really know very well together. So it was a lot about respect, mutual and listening and hearing. And uh, we're really, really, really happy to have had that experience with, with these wonderful artists. It was so interesting to uh, go through this process of, of essentially writing this piece all together, um, Wesley arrived with a tune that felt to me like it lived fine on its own. <laughs> it didn't like, need us. How are we supposed to do something more with this? And, uh, and also the first day we arrived for our workshop and, you know, I was still kind of going like, how do I prepare for this? I still don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> and then um, finally, at the end of that first day, we had come up with all kinds of wacky stuff. It was not clear at all what this was going to be, even then. But somehow, their creativity started to flow just by virtue of hanging out all day and thinking about it, talking about it. But then, um, but then doing this was sort of a really wonderful opportunity for us all to discover that yeah, if you're a musician and you can play, you can make music up and you can contribute to a new piece. And that was really, really cool to have Carmen be open to our ideas, to incorporate them into her writing and to kind of, she took all of our, she took our, our ideas and made them into something that can be seen on a page. 
The process uh, in which we worked uh, was very eye-opening for me because of course this is a new genre of music that I have never been exposed to, at least from a player's point of view. So I found it quite challenging in the beginning. But I have to say what really struck me in such a positive way was the mutual respect and how much, how much pain we took to respect each other as artists and be open and to listen to each other's ideas and opinions and also, of course, where they're coming from musically. The fun thing about Métis film music is really um, the, the extra beats that are added, the, uh, the emphasis on uh, certain um, uh, parts of a tune to really uh, you know, make that song sing. Um, and kind of with that in mind, you know, as a Métis fiddle player, you don't have a, a, a guitarist. So you know, you're kind of left with you know, your instrument to kind of fill in. So hitting extra strings, you know, playing a lot of cross uh, bows, uh, shuffling to, to kind of add the texture of chording or you know, um, creating rhythm more or less or accompaniment for yourself. What really helps about having someone like Carmen Braden with us, who comes from a background of, of not just strictly classical contemporary writing, but also playing in bands and with this kind of stuff too, in roots music, is that she has given us material that she has said all along, which I didn't understand at first, that this is a launching pad, you guys. Like, just take what I wrote and like, go forth. Um, and that, which is terrifying for Which is so visions. terrifying for some of us who don't have that background. <laughs> but as, as Sheila has said, has given us uh, more and more, I, I, we, I think we're understanding what it means to have that permission. And it's great when we're rehearsing with Wesley because we can always just turn to him and say, hey, does this make any sense what we're doing? And he has been such an amazing uh, positive element in all that to encourage us. And also to say sometimes, mm, no, actually. Um, this might feel more authentic, or this is more in the style of, we go, okay, great. And it's amazing having that resource, because just between ourselves, we are mostly classically focused. Um, and so to have that, that master there with us, to give us his benediction, helps a lot. Yeah, we're not at all trained in uh, imp improvising. Mm -hmm. um, that's something that kind of was, was left along the road of, <laughs> of evolution of classical music somehow it used to be a, a huge part of it actually always was a huge part of it and now we're so specialized that it's it's not really taught or encouraged that much anymore and it's really nice to to be um, forced to to face that and revisit it and just trust that yeah you're able to you're able to make music on the fly that's what you've been trained for your whole life <laughs> I'm happy to say it's a pleasure to be able to share this piece uh, with you all. It really means a lot uh, to be out here at Big Lake Festival 2023. I really hope that you enjoy. Certainly hope that you take care and really appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs>